Привіт, привіт! My name is Ina and welcome to my YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. In today's video lesson we're going to learn everything about the negative sentences in Ukrainian language. But before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and leave your comments below about this video lesson. So guys, First of all, when you start learning Ukrainian language, you need to know how to make a very simple sentences, what is its structure, and also to know the basic grammar, so it is very essential for the beginners, for sure. But also, uh, it can be confusing a little bit how to make the negative sentences, uh, or when you have uh, question negative sentences so let me show you how does it work and also I'm going to teach you today the double negativeness in Ukrainian language so it will be very interesting and useful so negative sentences first of all let's learn the negative um, particles in Ukrainian language so you know how to say tak tak it means yes but what about no do you know how to say no so it's very easy, very short, easy word in Ukrainian language. So uh, no in Ukrainian language means ni. Ni. It means no. Ni. And if you want to say not, when you need to use this negative uh, word in the sentence, like I'm not. So it means ne. This negative particle is ne. So let's repeat one more time. Ni it means no and ne means not. Not. So for example, there is a question, for example. Uh, no, somebody asks you, are you from Ukraine? I will write to Ukrainian translation Ви з України. Ви з України. It means are you from Ukraine? This is a question. Are you from Ukraine? And you need to reply no, I'm not. So you can just say short version, you can just say ні. It means no. Or you can say, no, I'm not from Ukraine. Ni, then you say, ja, ne, z Ukraine. Ukraine. Vy z Ukraine? Are you from Ukraine? Ni, no, I'm not from Ukraine. Ya ne z Ukraine. And you can see, ni means no, ne it means not. Pay attention, this is a present simple tense and we omit uh, the verb to be. So literally it sounds I not from Ukraine. I not from Ukraine in Ukrainian language. So you just need to follow this construction and keep them keep them in mind. Okay, so you can see uh, this uh, sentence. You can see we have a subject that means I, ya, here a negative a particle here, and then we have this um, part of the sentence from Ukraine, like object. I not from Ukraine. Okay, let's look at uh, uh, another construction when we have a verb in the sentence and you need to say I don't or he doesn't. What about this kind of construction? So let's check them out now. So let's make an example. If you want to say I don't know you. I don't know you. In Ukrainian it will sound as ya. Ja, Ne znaju ja ne znaju vas. Ja ne znaju vas. I don't know you. 
So you can see I use this negative particle na that means not and literally it sounds I not know you. Pay attention that you put this negative particle in front of the verb and this is the verb here and it is conjugated and it is in agreement with the uh, personal pronoun ya that means I that's uh, very important so you can see in English when you need to make negative sentences you use auxiliary verb do or does or for example did in the past tense but in Ukrainian language we just use this negative particle ne ne or for example she doesn't like that so we say ye ye ne Podobayetsa Yi ne podo ba ye tsia tse. It means she doesn't like that. She doesn't like that. Uh, so you can see ne, it means not. So literally, this sentence mean uh, she not like that she not like that so we don't have this forms do or doesn't uh, you can see you just use uh, on the first place you put uh, noun or pronoun that negative particle ne that means not and then you use the verb and you can ask me Ina what does it mean ye? Where is vona? I know that vona means she. Actually, you're right, but the verb like, it requires to use the dative case. Yes, uh, we have in Ukrainian language uh, many verbs that require before them or after them to use the specific case. And if you want to learn more about the cases, then you can check out my textbook Master Ukrainian Cases. You can purchase it in ebook version or in hardcover version and uh, it will help you to learn one of the most important topics in Ukrainian grammar cases. So you see, ye ne podobaitse tse. What about the past tense? Yes, you can ask me how to say he didn't learn Ukrainian. He didn't learn Ukrainian. So it will sound as vin, vin, ne, vivchav, vin, ne, vivchav, ukrainsko. 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 So let me just write here the dative case just to show you. This is dative case. This is dative case. Dative case. Uh, tak. And here Ukrainsko, you can see ending U, this is accusative case. This is accusative case. This is also accusative case. Tak, okay. Vin ne vivchav ukrainsku. He didn't learn Ukrainian. So what can we see? We can see this negative particle ne, and which vivchav it means learned. So in Ukrainian sounds he not learned in the past tense Ukrainian he not learned Ukrainian again we don't use any auxiliary verbs as you do in English you use did he didn't learn but in Ukrainian it doesn't work and let's check out the future tense yes for example uh, they will come here uh, or they will come tomorrow Von up we have negative i'm sorry they will not come tomorrow i'm sorry so vonny vonny it's future tense vonny ne 
вони не приїдуть. Приїдуть. Вони не приїдуть завтра. Завтра. Так, вони не приїдуть завтра. Uh, you can ask me what is that. Uh, this is the future tense, but future perfective. And uh, in Ukrainian language, when we talk about the tenses, we have two uh, forms. We have uh, imperfective and perfective. And приїдуть, uh, we can see that this is perfective because of this prefix pri. And it, it indicates this is future tense. It is a little bit difficult grammar topic, but you can see that anyway the structure is the same. You write uh, noun or pronoun that is predicated here at the beginning, then you use this particle ne, then the verb uh, in the tense, and actually that's it, you, you can see how it works. Uh, okay, let's, let me give you with the word, uh, with the verb will, future, yeah? One more example. Uh, me, ми не будемо ми не будемо ми не будемо пити ми не будемо пити кави We will not drink coffee ми не будемо, so pay attention, we not will drink coffee, we not will drink coffee, very interesting, also you can ask me Ina, why here we have genitive case, not accusative here, uh, we have here genitive case because um, when you say some coffee, uh, some water, in this kind of meaning, we use genitive case, also the, this information you can find in my textbook, Master Ukrainian Cases. I explain it uh, in details, all these rules, exceptions. So we can see how we make negative sentences with the help of the negative particle NE, that means not in different tenses, in the, uh, this is present, present, past, future uh, perfective, and future imperfective. These all are um, imperfective tenses, the first three ones. So you can see how it works, and also let me tell you about the double negatives in Ukrainian language. That's very important and very interesting, so let's keep watching this video. Double negativeness in Ukrainian language refers to such words as never, nowhere, etc. So let's learn how to make it in Ukrainian language. So let's learn first of all the basic word that we needed is never. So never in Ukrainian language means nikole. Never means nikole. So how to say never give up? In Ukrainian language, never uh, give up. Never give up means nikole. Nikole ne. Здавайся. Ніколи не здавайся. Ніколи не здавайся. So never means ніколи, не means not, здавайся, give up. Yes, literally it sounds as never not give up. Never not give up. Uh, so you can see how it works in Ukrainian language and we have double negativeness and you have to save it. Uh, you know, I remember four or five years ago I saw one meme on one social media 
uh, in one group um, of people who learns English there was a guy from Ukraine who made a tattoo on his um, hand and wrote in English don't never give up and there was a very big discussion and so many jokes about that because uh, in America or in England you don't say don't never give up yes you say never give up but that guy he just uh, made a literal translation of the phrase maybe he used Google translator and of course it's not correct uh, in Ukrainian you say Nikola Nazdavaisya but in English never give up Nikola Nazdavaisya so guys if you want to sound um, uh, naturally in Ukrainian language then I invite you to check out my online Ukrainian language school speaker.com where you can find very useful learning materials for you uh, textbooks and flashcards also you can uh, purchase a trial lesson with a professional teacher just for one dollar and then you will uh, progress in Ukrainian language and you will sound like a native I promise you so guys if you want to uh, learn more Ukrainian language and uh, you really love to watch, to watch my YouTube channel but it's not enough for you then I invite you to check out my Instagram account speak Ukrainian language uh, also if you love my job you can support me on patreon.com or you can just donate any any sum of money on my card all the links all the details you can find in the description of this video so see you soon love you guys and fa-fa